We are proud to demonstrate our new K-band capable and low-power microwave ADC EV10 AS940 that will drastically reduce future broadband acquisition system design complexity. Before starting the demonstration, let's quickly detail its main benefits and why you must select this 10-bit ADC in your future designs. The ADC EV10 AS940 makes possible a direct conversion up to 35 GHz, which is the minus 3 dB analog input bandwidth. Removing the need for external RF stages like mixers and numerically controlled oscillators. It enables a sampling rate up to 12.8 gigasample per second, offering an instantaneous bandwidth of 6.4 GHz. It offers single indeed analog signal and clock inputs to ease interface with microwave devices of the signal conditioning chain. Last but not least, this ADC operates with an extremely low power consumption of 2.5 watts at the maximum sampling frequency of 12.8 gigasample per second. Now you have a good overview of the ADC EV10 AS940, let's get to the demo. Here you can see the board embedding the ADC. We use it in our lab for the characterization. We also use two signal generators. One to generate the ADC input clock at 12.8 GHz and the other to generate the ADC input signal here a continuous waveform at 31.2 GHz. You can notice that there is no devices nor balloons between signal generators and the ADC as the EV10 AS940 is capable to directly convert single indeed signals up to 35 GHz and to operate with a single indeed input clock. Now we have seen the hardware setup, we can use the graphical user interface to launch a signal acquisition in K-Band and look at the acquired signal folded back in the first Nyquist zone. Straight out of the box, this ADC gives an SFDR of 43 dBC with minus 8 dBFS of SFSR. Now I changed the input frequency to 30.5 GHz and we get an SFDR of 44 dBC with an SFSR of minus 6 dBFS. Again, we changed the input frequency to 24.5 GHz and we get an SFDR of 49 dBC with an SFSR of minus 5 dBFS. To conclude this demonstration, we set the input frequency to 38 GHz and we get an SFDR of 40 dBC with an SFSR of minus 6 dBFS. Of course, this is a preliminary result, pending the full validation of the product. If you are interested in this new ADC, you can get the latest information by subscribing to our newsletter. Of course, if you have questions, please contact us using Teledyne2V hotline email address. Thank you for watching.